Hey guys, Professor Fat Shady here to do a bit of a redo of a video that I posted earlier today that uh, seemed to fail catastrophically. Uh, I did a tutorial for Light City Run, and unfortunately, uh, this is one of the extreme tracks, unfortunately something happened about halfway through the track, and everything just stopped recording. Um, clearly my QA process wasn't as good as it should have been, and I missed that when it went up. So apologies guys, but I figured I'd pretty quickly remedy this, because there was a number of people that had been looking uh, for this tutorial. Um... Yeah, so let's get straight into it. Now, I'm going back to playing on the Xbox. Various reasons, I think. I'm not exactly sure. Look, that jump there, pretty much straightforward. Bunny hop, don't really need to explain much. <clears throat> um, when we talk about this obstacle here, um, as you can see, a very short run-up. And, and somewhere where you will can get stuck. Um, with these really short run-up ramps, it's crucial that you maintain contact of your rear wheel to the ramp for the maximum time possible. So the approach here is all about the speed uh, and timing at which you change your body weight. I can probably say that for every obstacle, but the idea here is to say, start from a seated position. Uh, as you get to about 45 degree angle on the bike here, you want to transition your body weight forward while continuing to accelerate at 100%. Uh, once you clear this portion of the ramp, you just want to lean forward and try and catch your front wheel. So uh, from a seated position, up and over, let me just try this, a couple of different ways, there we go, um, this technique here where I've sort of balanced up on my front wheel, the, the, the key part for that is, and I'll, I'll stop here, the key part for that is to ensure that you actually use your brake as you land, so sometimes you'll find yourself, you'll, you'll get your front wheel up on an obstacle, but your back wheel, and I do this on Inferno a few times, your back wheel can't quite make it. As long as you can get your your head, the rider's head, over the top of the front wheel, um, hold down the brake and just lean forward, and that will actually just give you that little bit of extra push, and uh, once you're sort of balancing, or once you've got enough of your body weight up and over, you'll find that when you let go of the brake, your body weight will actually uh, be enough to get the rest of your bike over the obstacle. Um, I might just recap this uh, obstacle real quick. Um, what I would strongly suggest here, while well, I said originally to stay seated, I'm finding it now probably a little bit more consistent to start from a neutral riding position. The idea will be that as you start accelerating, sit back down in the seat, get to about 45 degrees and then change your body rate, uh, change your body weight, uh, leaning forward, and just keep leaning forward until you make the jump. And it should look something like that. I'll try and do this a bit neater. Try and avoid hitting your front wheel. So maybe lean back a little bit more and try and avoid hitting your front wheel on the sign on the way up. This is similar to the Jump and Rock of Rages, which I might even do later tonight. Um, but it's a, a simpler approach, so I do find it a bit of an easier obstacle. Um, I tend to do a very small bunny hop here, accelerate at about 60% when you hit the ramp, and only and, and don't lean forward, even though it's a, a, a slope, don't lean forward uh, immediately. You should stay seated, so finish your bunny hop, get back into a seated position, accelerate at about 60%, once you, you sort of hit the ramp and bounce back up, or you'll, you should actually bounce up, what you want to be doing then is uh, then starting to press to the right uh, and just lean over the top and again maybe use your brake and stop yourself on your front wheel and get the rest of your body weight over. So a little bunny hop, 60% and then try and lean up. I don't even think that bunny hop at the bottom is really necessary. No, actually it's not. So I actually now, if I just stay seated, Accelerate 60% and then just use that technique again. So hold the brake and you'll get your body weight up and over the obstacle. Um, if I skim over anything here, as always, make sure you call me out on it and I'll go into a more detailed um, obstacle specific uh, video at some later stage. With this one here, the challenge you've got is that you've got sort of two sections, it's quite vertical and you'll probably find yourself faulting quite a bit here. The tip I've got is to again try and so yeah, start from a neutral position, sit, what you want to do is as you start accelerating, sit back. So if, if you try and ride and, like if you let your front wheel hit that, uh, hit this steep ramp here, you'll tend to find yourself uh, likely to do a backflip. So the idea is you actually want to start accelerating by sitting down, and rather than the front wheel being bounced up by hitting the ramp, you want the front wheel to lift with you. Uh, as you sit back on the um, as you sit back on the bike, sort of like that. So the so by the time you get to the steep slope, your bike's already in the appropriate position. Then what you want to do is transfer your body weight forward to continue climbing up the hill. Um, and I try and just get myself to get to about this point. So um, yeah, only accelerate at maybe 70, 80 percent. 
get yourself over that lip, which you, can, which you can see just below me, and then just using throttle control, steady yourself on this obstacle, and when you're ready, go up and over the checkpoint. The next part here, sorry, I keep checking to make sure I'm still recording. Um, oh, stop listening. Damn you, Xbox. All right. Um, the tricky part with this obstacle is that you've effectively got three, three consecutive sections. And I mean, look, to be honest, you might be able to sort of stop on this one, but at least one of them you're gonna you're gonna have to do this sort of rear wheel bunny hop thing. Um, I, I tend to do all three of them in one hit. Uh, you may not find that as consistent as I usually do, so I sort of I tend to attack them like. Yeah, I tend to approach it like that, right? Where you sort of hop on the rear wheel all the way over them. Um, if you want, just having a look here, so it is possible to steady yourself on this first one, uh, but uh, you can't. You need to do the. You need to use. Yes, yeah, so it's it's tricky because of the angle they've got you on here. If you did try and steady yourself on this one, maybe if you go that way. Yeah, it's really difficult. There you go. Because of the length of the ramp, it's really difficult to get enough momentum from this one onto the second one because that gap's just a little bit bigger than normal so it's look it's possible I mean, i'm showing you a couple of examples yeah a little bit of a bunny hop there and i guess you can you can do that the main thing you want to focus on is keep that that rear uh, the rear wheel in contact with these platforms and the front wheel up in the air you'll find a tendency when you hit these things for your front wheel to want to start dipping down and at every opportunity through each of those little hops you want to try and keep the the front wheel up in the air um, when you get to this slanted slope here, I would strongly suggest that you just settle yourself down. So I haven't hit a checkpoint yet, and this is, uh, so effectively I treat this in two separate parts. Learn to balance here, I'm pressing hard to the right, while just gently feathering the throttle, and that'll give me enough traction without falling, uh, without trying to do a backflip. If you accelerate too hard, um, yeah, you pretty quickly find the bike lifting and you'll do a backflip. What you want to do here, give yourself a good run-up, nothing crazy. Um, you want to start by holding the throttle at, you know, 10, 10 20, 30% and just gradually build up so you start building up some speed. I'm pressing hard to the right at the moment. I don't want to lean to the left to try and jump over this obstacle. All I want to do is let gravity and the sort of bike's natural tendency to flip and use that to my, I want to use that uh, to my advantage. So what I'm going to do here is press hard to the right until I get close to the top. As I get close to the top, I'm just going to let go of the left thumb stick and make it go to the neutral position. This will instantly start making the front wheel lift up, and then as soon as the front wheel starts lifting up, uh, and I see that the angle of the front wheel is sufficient to get over the, the ledge at the top, I'm going to start applying pressure again to the left thumbstick. So here we go, 100% left thumbstick, let go of it, and then press again. And that's enough to get over the obstacle. Hopefully that made sense, but effectively, all you're doing is just letting go of the left thumbstick, at the point where you want the front wheel to lift, and then reapplying the pressure to lean up and over this obstacle. This is where the video cut out last time, so I keep checking to make sure it's still filming. Um, this is one of the trickiest jumps, I'd even argue in the game. Um, compared to the rest of the track, this is actually somewhat out of character. This is a very tough obstacle. Um, yeah, as you can see here, you've got a big gap, and then you've got a near vertical ledge that you've got to try and get yourself on. The approach that I take, um, as I said in my uh, bunny hop tutorial, it is possible to start a bunny hop from this position where you're leaning uh, hard over the handlebars. I tend to do that where I want to get the maximum jump. Um, it's not necessary to be honest, I mean I can probably, I can do this from a neutral position I suspect and even without a massive run up. Try. But I, I just find that may just give you that little bit of an extra boost. Let's see. I'll try and do this consistently for you guys. Firstly, there you go. So that's that's the idea. So again, as I've shown you in a few other parts in this track, there's two things here. You need to be able to make the gap. Firstly, so if you haven't gone back and watched my bunny hop tutorial, I strongly suggest you do that before you even attempt this. If you can't do a bunny hop, you won't get the distance, and you'll definitely struggle on this track. If you are able to do the bunny hop and you get sufficient distance, then the focus really needs to be getting your rear wheel. So not only do you need to finish your bunny hop, but you also need to rotate the bike so the rear wheel comes in contact with the platform and the front wheel goes up and over and onto that green uh, platform at the top there. Um, the key thing is to make sure you've also learnt that front wheel sort of stop technique that I've shown you, where you hold onto the brake. So as your front wheel hits that green landing, you want to lean over the handlebars while applying the brake. 
This will ensure that your bike starts rotating up and over uh, onto the obstacle, and only once your body weight starts, um, once your body starts uh, leaning over the front of the front wheel, will you actually then release the brake and let the bike fall underneath you to continue up and basically make it up the obstacle. So I'll show you a few more times here. Rear wheel first, and be pretty, pretty. Uh, confident and forceful with that rear wheel going down first and it's it is just about timing guys there we go rear wheel down and then you want to hold that brake as you can see I still haven't got this down pat yet so I'm starting to fly in There you go. All right. Um, I may even say, as much as I said, yeah, it's it's probably possible whichever way you find, whatever way you th think for it gives you the best bunny hop. I'm starting to find now without leaning forward, just starting from a neutral position from the checkpoint, probably slightly more. I don't want to say consistent because as you can see here, maybe the other thing I'm doing wrong, and I'm just sort of thinking out loud here. The other thing I think I'm doing is I'm not using all of the ramp. I'm actually bunny hopping. There you go. Um. I'm actually bunny hopping too early, so the other, that's probably the other tip I'll give you, is because it's such a big gap, make sure you use all of the ramp, there we go, um, use all of this platform that I'm on here before you start your bunny hop, uh, otherwise you're going to leave yourself short, which I was just doing. Um, so again, uh, maybe even from a neutral position, maximum bunny hop, rear wheel first, and then hold down that brake. Yeah, I'm, I'm not zero faulting this for a long time. Anyway, there you go. Uh, this obstacle, I, I believe you can do it in two ways. I mean, that was a, a sort of quick, rough and nastier version of it. Um, it is my preference to try and hit this in one go and just sort of pop up like that. Um, what you're effectively doing is staying seated, landing on the platform below. Uh, don't accelerate at 100% to hit that or you'll, you'll end up just running into this green box. So. You accelerate at maybe 80-90%, land on the platform below, and then instantly transition into another bunny hop um, from as low down the ramp as you can. Don't think you've got to be close to this green box. Your momentum will, and the bunny hop will actually get you high enough. Oh, for God's sake, what is it? Stop listening! <laughs> oh, God. Stop listening. Hung it. No. Morgan, stop. <laughs> no wonder you didn't find anything. I did not say Morgan stop Lissoni under no. <laughs> if they want this to be an advertisement for Xbox, that did not work. Um, Xbox, go to Trials Fusion. Now you don't listen. Xbox. Xbox, go to Trials Fusion. <laughs> oh, I'm going to leave that in. There's nothing else that's funny. Gosh. Anyway, so as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, there's two ways you can do this. One is to actually uh, take the momentum all the way through. The second is to land on this platform down the bottom and then try and first land and secure yourself without falling backwards and then try and get over this obstacle. Um, as hard as it is, I would strongly suggest you do this from a seated position. This means very careful throttle control because you, again, naturally, if you accelerate even slightly, you're going to do a backflip. From a seated position, you want to accelerate and very quickly flick forward, uh, so very quickly flick right, then left. What that will do is lift your front wheel up and then bring the back wheel up underneath you. So again, uh, I'll do this another time if I can catch myself here. Nope. Stop again. Alright, so from a seated position, all you want to do is accelerate hard. Um, so you actually don't need to lift the front wheel up as such. If you just accelerate, the front wheel will actually want to flip. So all you're doing is letting the front, the, you're letting gravity and you know your bike's natural tendency to do a backflip. You're actually using that to your advantage, letting that lift the front wheel up. Press right to start getting your momentum going forward, and then press left very quickly afterwards to lift the rear wheel up and over the box. This obstacle again, you can do in two. You can do in two parts. The way I tend to do it is like that. Um, the idea here is if you try to hit this, the lower part of this ramp, I mean, 
you are going to, I mean, there's, there's going to be some ninja guys that can do this, and I'm sure there's probably a technique that I don't even know about that will get people to somehow stick to that lamp, that ramp. But as you can see, it's so vertical, you don't want to stop on that ramp. Yeah, I'm not going to do it, right? So if you sort of get to here and then try and get to here and climb, you're going to do this constantly. What you need to do is from this ramp, whether you bounce through here, like I did at the start, or whether or not you actually um, sit down, the key part is to get maximum height off this. You just want your rear wheel to touch the very steep bottom part and be rotating forward as you go through. That should give you enough uh, upward lift to bounce you up onto this flat section and then just use the throttle control to hold you in place. So let me show that a few more times. So as I said, the key is just get your back wheel in contact with this platform and use that to your advantage. And use that to pop you up and over the, um, the jump. So let me see if I can do this from here. I suspect it's easier transitioning from one to the other. Okay, rear wheel up. There we go. And just use the throttle control to put you in the right place. So again, I'll stop here. I tend to find leaning forward here is probably the right thing to do. Big bunny hop. That was horrible. Okay, big bunny hop, rear wheel down. There we go. It's tough. Ugh. Um, and this is very similar to the obstacle we had at the start. It's just about how you transition. So you want to start from a neutral position. You want to press down as you do this first, the first sort of half of this brown ramp, or the gray ramp you've got at the bottom. As your front wheel goes through the first half of it, you should transition from a neutral. So neutral here. Up to that point, you kind of want to be sitting down. And the reason why you sit down on the bike is that ra rather than sort of driving your bike into the ramp... Um, so if you, if you drive, your, drive your bike into the ramp, you'll find that the front shocks get compressed so much, it'll actually flip the bike backwards. And you're sort of creating a force in the front springs to bounce the bike up. So what you need to do is as you sit down... And look, even if I do this on the flat here, all right, I can lift up the front wheel. So the front wheel lift up a little bit. Even that little bit of lift is enough to get the front wheel heading up the ramp without it bouncing off the ramp. And even though that sounds very like a very insignificant thing, it actually makes a big difference when trying to get your momentum. Because if you drive into the ramp, the front wheel gets compressed, the front wheel then reacts to that pressure and bounces back. That means that you're approaching the upward climb uh, at the incorrect angle and that will tend to make you do a backflip. So it's really important that you actually sit down and then lean forward. And then I try and just get my front wheel um, bounced off this fence. I just find it more consistent to bounce my front wheel on this fence, lean over, and when I've sort of made the transition across, do I actually um, yeah, make my way over the ramp. But anyway, that is Light City Run. Hopefully I've been able to do this tutorial without it dying. And now I'm showing off by doing this awesome wheelie. Don't have stuffed it. Um, there we go, 18 minutes. It's probably longer than my last video anyway. Uh, hopefully you found that helpful. Hopefully you thought that was worthwhile. Uh, any other questions, requests? I have still got a list of things that people have been asking me for. I will get through them. Um, but yeah, for now, Light City Run done. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll make more of these things.